Time now for the morning rush. We start with the big hole wildfire that continues to burn in Dvoske, just east of Berlin. High winds continue to fan the flames, consuming an area 300 acres in size as the fire remains 0% contained. This morning, the fire still surrounds homes, leaving many families on edge as evacuation orders remain in place. In the meantime, the Forest Service is now apologizing for a prescribed burn that turned into the Hermit's Peak Fire. That's in northern New Mexico. The fire is currently sitting at nearly 1,300 acres. It's only about 10% contained. At this point, authorities say they are not aware of any structures that have been lost yet. Erica. And it's going to be a windy day, but mild to start out for those kiddos heading off to school. 58 degrees. I would wear probably a windbreaker today. We're going to be warming back into the 60s, cooler than yesterday, and we're going to keep those winds gusting at over 50 miles per hour. President Biden just announced new regulations on mail order weapons known as ghost guns. Now those are weapons that are homemade firearms that can be assembled using a 3D printer or with kits purchased online. The new restrictions would require gun makers to include serial numbers, be federally licensed, run background checks and keep purchase records. Eastern Ukrainians are being told to flee their homes ahead of an increased Russian offensive. The Pentagon says the new Russian commander heading up operations has a history of disregard for civilian casualties. Ukrainian President Zelensky warns that Russia may use chemical weapons. Erica. And here's a look at our threat index. We'll be seeing those high wind gusts across the state today that could cause wind damage. And we have high fire danger, so use caution. Wildfires will ignite and spread rapidly. The state of Colorado is set to get millions after the Gold King mine spilled. The 2015 spill near Silverton sent 3 million gallons of heavy metals into the Animas and San Juan Rivers. Sunnyside Gold Corporation operated that mine. Now the corporation is set to pay $45 million to the United States and $4 million to the state of Colorado. While happening today, the city of Rio Rancho is going to be holding its runoff election. Voters will be deciding who will fill the District 3 City Council seat. Candidates Bob Tyler and Joshua Antonio Jones are on the ballots. The voting locations will open here in a few minutes at 7 and close at 7 tonight. Erica. And here's a look at the traffic maps. They are clear. No accidents or slowdowns. And here's a check over the big eye. Those flags are flying as winds have already picked up across the state. Alexa owners, you can now donate $1 to plant a tree by asking the device to grow a tree. The money will go to four different tree planting projects located in Pennsylvania, California, the Pacific Northwest, and India. And now for the five facts. At number five, it is opening day at the Rio Grande Credit Union Field for the Albuquerque Isotopes. The topes are going to be taken on Tacoma Rainiers, and guests will be treated with some new concession items featuring all New Mexican twists on popular food items. Also, there's going to be 15 fireworks nights this season and 21 promotional nights with some unique giveaways, starting with the Jackie Robinson commemorative t-shirts on April 15th. And number four, now we're waiting to see if a judge will allow the New Mexico teen who's to see the baby that she's accused of throwing into a dumpster as a newborn. That's a request from Alexis Avila's attorneys. Back in January, Good Samaritans found the baby boy in a dumpster in Hobbs in bad condition. The baby now lives with his teenage dad. Avila's attorneys state that she's attending counseling and is in parenting classes. They also say she has her diploma and is accepted into college. Prosecutors plan to fight this portion of the motion. At number three, we are watching two major wildfires burning in New Mexico this morning. We start with the Hermit's Peak Fire. The Forest Service is now apologizing for that prescribed burn that got out of control in northern New Mexico. Firefighters are reminding people to remain on high alert as evacuation orders remain in place. Their biggest concern today are the winds that are pushing that fire north. And at number two, those dangerous winds are going to be gripping the state through the midday and afternoon. All the way through this evening, we'll see winds out of the west-southwest at up to 55 miles per hour in the metro. And finally, number one for you this morning, evacuation order is still in place this morning for the Big Hole Wildfire, which is burning in the Bosque just north of Belen. It's been a tough fight for the multiple agencies battling the blaze as high winds continue to fan the flames. It's 0% contained as last check. Officials estimate it stretched to, stretch to at least 300 acres in size. Officials confirming that some structures have been lost or damaged on both sides of the river. There are others still in its path this morning. Video from Sky News shows flames burning through the Bosque. There are several areas that are under evacuation orders. For details, go to KRQB.com.